Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and we are officially live here today with our sound back on. Took me a minute to figure out what's going on, I still don't know why it's uh, feeding through the laptop as well, but um, I'll have that figured out, but at least we have sound again, so that's one good thing. So leave a like, follow for that. And let's go ahead and continue on with our journey here. We've pretty much done everything we could do. So now we're going to go ahead and challenge the ice gym leader here. So let's go ahead and enter and see how this goes for us. If you remember from the last stream, uh, the... Sorry, excuse me. If you remember from the last stream uh, against the fairy gym leader, it didn't go too well. We didn't lose a Pokemon, but... At least, um, what do you call it? We didn't lose a Pokemon, but it was, we almost did. So, there's that. But for now, we're over here talking to Hop. He's giving us Melanie's lead card. <clears throat> and thank goodness for no battle. What's up, Nares? How's it going, man? Um, is the volume okay? I don't need to know if I need to turn it up or turn it down or what. Alright, we got healing items and stuff. Such a great thing they did in this game to put all this stuff right here just for people like me who constantly forget that you need healing items when you battle the gym. Yes, I want to challenge the gym leader. So now we'll go switch into our uniform here and be ready for battle. Please, head on in. Pick up on Trap Detector. You need one for the jam mission. Alrighty, sir. I don't know why I decided at the very first episode to give them a drill sergeant voice, but I feel we should continue on with the tradition. And I'm all out of soda. Darn it. Would you like to hear the details of the mission carried in? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you don't need it is simply, there are invisible pitfalls everywhere. So if you don't want to fucking die and break your neck, you'll need those to figure out where the tra trap falls are. And this is the most dangerous... Can you hear me? Stay calm and move forward. This is probably very dangerous and shouldn't be in a Pokemon game. Alright, do we have our Pokemon we want up front? Yeah, we do. Senior Champ is going to take this dude on. As long as I've got Ice-type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill, dude. Alright, old man, you're too, you're too old to be talking like this. Snom! Everyone's favorite little butt bug. And we're gonna go ahead and just flamethrower. Totally demolish this thing off the face of the earth. And down goes Snom. Yeah, Balsam's still here, Norris. Kicking and screaming, but she's here. And she's our highest level right now because she was helping us train up the B team over there. What? There's no way I could lose. I only had a Pokemon four times a week to your fire type moves. Alright, let's see. Can we go this way? Oh, no. Nope. Let's go the long way around. No! Dang it. So we fall there, but now we can safely move past this way. And there we go, finally made it past the first one. One pitfall. But that was my silly mistake. Alright. Still your nerves. I get it, Pokemon still tight. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Bring it around town. 
Dang it. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? So that's two. Oh shit. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. Dang it. I wasn't trying to go that far down. Alright, we've totally failed at this gym challenge. Woohoo! We did it. It's okay. We're still hanging in there. Alright, Liana. What Pokemon you got to send out against us? And it's a Cloyster! Let's hope it doesn't shell smash on us here. We're just gonna go ahead and go for a flamethrower. It's neutral. Effective. And down goes Cloyster to our overpowered Charizard. And we grow level up too. So we are in a nice little, little. We're in a nice little spot here to challenge this ice gym with all our Pokemon that really affect her types. But let's go ahead and put Lone Wolf up to get him some. Uh, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Dang it! Okay, let's go this way. Son of a bitch. Whatever, at least we'll know where all the pitfalls are. That's the, that, that was the real quest here. Now it's time to fight another old dude. Alexander, get ready to perish. Ooh, a bear tick. That's a sweet looking Pokemon. But nothing for a lone wolf here. Excel Rock, baby. Oh, and Beartick hangs on. Nifty hold. Very clutch. And it gives us a mighty icicle crash. But we're going to go ahead and take it out with this Excel Rock here. As nice as Excel Rock is, it's not doing the damage it needs to be doing. Oh no, she might get cross at me if she hears I lost to a challenger. What are you gonna do? Break my leg? She's gonna find out eventually. Oh yeah. Oh no. what? Guess I'm supposed to go the other way. No. What? Man, this gym sucks. There we go. And down goes all the pitfalls. See, that was cheap. This gym's cheap. Trust in yourself. Oh, great. I can't see shit. Nope. Ah. Damn it. Made it to a platform. Now run for your life. Continue forward. Even if you think you can see where you're going, the ch 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 sir gym something mission is going to stop you. I don't think so, Micah. Micah? It's a Micah here. The Great Bambino. Close combat, baby. And Avalug hangs on. That's not good. I mean, I know it's high defense, but I was really hoping... Oh, no! We lose Lone Wolf here to a lousy gym trainer. All right. Well, that sucks. Lone Wolf was my favorite. Well, third favorite Pokemon. Oh, man. Well, it looks like we're going to have to deal with that. Let's go Metal Claw here. Yeah, I don't get it either. I, I hate the sliding of the gems and pitfalls too. It's really annoying. I kind of like uh, Wolfric's gym. 
his gym was pretty cool. It was the puzzle where you s did the thing to go around. And then you walk the straight path. Can't see where I'm going. I can't see where I'm going. But I'm doing good, I think. Nope. Yes! Whew! I did it! We lost a Pokemon in the process. So that definitely sucks. But I actually did the best on the one where I couldn't see shit. And we're going to go ahead and lead Edward here. Because, uh, judging from this, we're definitely going to need a Pokemon to get the Stealth Rocks up. And let's go ahead and see what this gym has to offer. The gym mission clear! Alright, Ice Gym Badge is waiting for us. Let's go out here and get it. Alright, Melanie, if that's your real name. I'm Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all Ice-type Pokemon. You, you aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Hehe. <laughs> Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. I'll fall into a hole you won't be expecting. Alright, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Well, alrighty then. Well... Leave a like and share if you're ready for this battle against Gym Leader Melanie. Gym Leader Melanie is going to start the battle by sending out a Frost Moth. And the challenger sends out a Ponyard. What will he do here? Obviously, he has the type advantage. Oh, and he goes for the Stealth Rocks. That means Melanie's team will be taking 25% damage on every Pokemon that decides to come in here. And she goes for the Fierce Icy Wind. Not very effective and lowers the speed, but does not get the freeze. Now, what will the Challenger do here? Oh, it's actually Frostmoth going with the hell. Edward comes back in with the Metal Claw and doesn't quite take it out. So, the speed drop certainly will hurt him. Oh, and it's a Bug Buzz. Eviolite did not hold it back for one second. Oh, man, guys, we are in the shit now we've lost two Pokemon already Jesus Christ hopefully Charizard can pull us out of this one and we're just gonna go ahead and go for the flamethrower here so flamethrower for sure knocks off the Frostmon finally and we get the level up that we do so desperately need right there Man, Darmanitan comes in. And I think a flamethrower should be able to take it out as well. Oh, especially with that. I certainly didn't think a bug buzz would take us out. Especially with the Eviolite. But that's that it is what it is. Ice use coming in here, and its ability is kind of off or not. Because we're going to be able to live it. So we're going to go ahead and go for the flame throw here. We're going to need all three turns of, uh, of Sun versus that Lapras. 
And down goes Iskew. Welcome to the stream. We have lost two Pokemon in this gym challenge so far. Versus Ice. So, shows how gruesome the Ice is chilling us to the bone right now. Wholesome well, grows the level, and the hell finally stops. Alright, guys. Ugh, this Lapras. This is what's really getting it. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what this is. Lapras has entered the field. Ooh, but the, the stones dig into it. All right, I think now is the perfect time for a Dynamax. And the challenger goes with it. So we're about to see a Dynamax Charizard on the field versus a Gigantamax Lapras, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and see what this cheer cheerleader, gym leader, tries to do. Come now. Go on and... Gigantamax. I didn't get. I didn't see the last part she said. Yeah, hug them balls. Hug them testiculars. All right, Lapras comes in full health. Uh, almost, you know, double health now. And we get off the Max Flare. That does a decent chunk to the Lapras, but not quite enough. So now we get to see, does it go for the Max Geyser, or does it go for... Yeah, it goes for Max Geyser. So that's kind of better for us, because we are under the sun. And, um... What do you call it? We're under the sun, and at least without the ice, she doesn't get the Aurora Veil. We're going to go ahead and set the sun up again. It is weakened due to the rain being up. Let's see if she goes for the ice type move here. Nope, goes for Max Geyser again. Certainly trying to get us on that uh, type advantage. But that's fine. Hopefully we get a critical hit here so it doesn't matter that we're in the rain. Max Flare. lives on one this ice is thicker than a snicker it will not go down and she gets off the max geyser so of course she's gonna have um, rain set up here so we got to go ahead and try to pull through Charizard is low health Lapras is low health we are certainly faster but can we do enough damage here or does she full heal? That's the real question. And she doesn't heal! Charizard gets there, slash up and down goes Lapras! Oh boy! So Ponyard's death was not all for naught. Joe Zamora is the victor! I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'll be more than like falling from here right yeah bitch go get in a hole somewhere you you're pretty good huh of course seeing my Pokemon lose is sad but to meet someone so young with such ability and fat calves mm. here take the sparkling ice badge and the winner is Joe Zamora, and he gets the Ice Badge! Two badges left, and he could challenge the Pokemon Contest. I mean, Champions Tournament. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenge you after I become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? Um, I'd rather give you the thrashing, you know what I mean? 
Joe, my sincere congratulations for your victory over the gym leader, Melanie. Please take this TM as a commemorative uh, whatever. Icy win. So we get Icy win into our inventory here. And we get the ice uniform. So, whew, we beat the gym with minimal casualties. So, leave a like and share for that. And then let's go ahead and see who our replacement members will be here. Um, Rock. Rock Death. I haven't had any deaths yet, so this is a first. So, in goes Lone Wolf, in goes Ponyard. Bag that and bag this. So sad to see them go. But that does give us an opportunity to grab one of these newer mods. So our ground weakness isn't as imperative as it used to be. We don't really have an ice weakness. So it wouldn't hurt to add another Cantonian Pokemon here. So I guess we can do this for now. Um, all these other Pokemon I'm not too sure about. Let's go ahead and see what we have in reserve here. So we do have quite a bit of options here. Let's see. We could replace a rock type with right on, have Eviolite right on. But do we really need a rock type? I don't think so. Mm, let's see. Maybe we can get a poison psychic type. I would just need someone's help to evolve it into a Galarian form. I don't think I had enough of the Galarian root to evolve this just myself. And then we can also go dim here. Which would give us a fighting bug type. And I've never really used a Heracross. So you know what? I'm actually just going to go ahead and go with this. We don't really have a fire weakness. We don't have a flying weakness. But we don't have a flying resist either. I mean... What could possibly go wrong? And to avoid, you know... Boring y'all with grinding. I'm just going to go ahead and level these guys up. Let's get them candies going. Nope. Two more. There we go. Right on par. And this one took five, so I'm going to give this one four. Okay. Pin missile we're not going with. Throat Chop could be a possibility. I mean, be better than Leer, I guess. And we'll give it one more. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we'll give it another one. There we go. Level 43 is fine. Now we can continue on with the journey, because we do have a few battles coming up. Alright, so we gotta get through Sonya's little BS talking right here. Ugh, so much of her yammering on. Oh, maybe that's why she has a yamper, because she never shuts the hell up. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and lead up Dim here. And give it an item, of course. Open that bag. What item can we give it? Let's go ahead. Yeah, I only have two Galarian Twigs. Let's go ahead and get an Expert Belt on it due to all the moves it has. And let's go ahead and see if we have an item for this thing. Let's give this 
There's really nothing to give it. Let's see. Dust, stone, crap. Let's just give it a rocky helmet for now. It's going to be a bulky boy, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and just do that. And then we got to go meet Sonya at the restaurant, I believe. So we're going to go to uh, Fat Joe's over here. And see what they're cooking up. Nice job getting the gym badge, Joe. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Pop. You know I lost a Pokemon. Way to rub it in. Wait, hold on. What's going on here? I don't know. Some more crap about the legends? Oh my gosh. Foreshadowing? You met them? Yeah, we met the legendary dogs. Or legendary wolves. I think she's feeding us. I can't remember. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing is done. Done eating. It's time to have a look around Church Chester. Let's go to the hero's bath. So they bathed publicly in front of everybody. It's kind of gross, if you ask me. But who am I to tell them how to live? Oh boy, come on. It gives you the options to skip stuff like this, but it doesn't really let you do it because it's not a movie sequence. So it's kind of stupid. Yeah, I'm prepared. Just fight. Let's go. Sonya heals us up, and Hop is ready to get demolished again. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. So he sends out the double, of course. His staple Pokemon. And we send out Dim. And you saw Dim's wings. He's a flying beast. But we're going to go ahead and go Brick Break here, because it's super effective. Oh, and Dubois goes down, and we are seeing the great effects of having a Heracross on the team. Down it goes. And of course, there's Hell going on around here. And we're going to bring out Alice to deal with this thing. And I cannot wait until we have a better move than Spark to deal with these flying types. Alright, here we go. Spark it up, baby. And down goes Corviknight. One hit KO. Critical hit. That's probably why. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain. We'll get him back for it. Uh, never. If you lose the hop, you suck. Just kidding. But still, I, I would never lose the hop. Too easy. What are you bringing out? Snorlax? I bet you would. Alright, time to switch out. Too dim. Alright, dim is ready to party here. Ooh, and we take that body slam pretty well. Now let's see if he can take this brick break. Oh, and he can't! Snorlax goes down! Alright, who's coming in next? I didn't see. But let's go ahead and go out to Sprout. Give it a little bit of debut here. Ooh, it's a pink curtain. This should be an easy kill. Let's go ahead and go for Petal Blizzard. And you know, most people would get confused in thinking you can't toxic this thing. But it's actually a pure electric type. 
Ooh, and the Rocky Helmet coming in clutch. And we go Pedal Blizzard once again. And beautiful pink pedals take out this pin curtain. And Rillaboom is coming in now. So we're going to send out our favorite starter versus his favorite starter. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. It'll be the greatest battle you've ever seen. Yeah, your gorilla dying to a flamethrower. And down goes Rillaboom in one hit. Thank you for wasting my time, Hop. I honestly could have probably swept your team with Charizard alone, but, you know, I'm a nice guy. I like to make them think I'm trying. You two are great. I bet y'all did see those Pokemon in the sleeping wheels. <clears throat> Crikey, she believed us. Alright, cool. Now we can finally get to what's important. And go challenge the next gym. There's not much on the next route, so I'm not too worried about fo fo ugh, focusing on what's there. Probably just do a couple battles and, um, what do you call it? Probably do just enough battles to get our Pokemon up to par for the next gym. And, god damn it, here we go. And get ready for that. So, we battled this lady. And we battled them over here. So let's go ahead and deal with these grunts here. Or just Team Yell. I guess they're not really... Oh, there are grunts. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and deal with them here. Crikey! Get them out of the way! I'll give you a fucking bike if you do! Alright, sure, why not? Oh shit, I pushed the wrong button. Yes, I'll send them packing. Alright, so we got lucky and we sent out our fighting type versus Leon, uh, Lin Leon, Linoon. But we were lower health than we should be. And we do gotta watch out for that, but Brick Break does take it out. All of our Pokemon are getting pretty nice leveled. And Pangoro comes out and hits the field. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go sprout here. No, oh, excuse me. Alright, uh, Pangoro does a decent amount of damage, but not enough, so we're gonna go ahead and Petal Blizzard here. Goes for the Bullet Punch, which ensures it goes first, but is a lack of damage. Alright, and from what I see here, um, we're kind of already at the level that we need to be to fight the 7th the Gym. So we're not going to try to uh, get too much higher level. So if we can avoid a battle, we will. Because I think it says level 44, 45, 45, 46. And then uh, the next gym after that, it's not too far behind. So we're not going to try to get too over leveled here. Alright, Dreadnought is free to go. Alright, Grunts, get the hell out of here. You know I have shit to do. 
All right, we got the Rotom bike now. It's not just a regular bike anymore, apparently. Yeah, Team Yell did suck. I wish they would have done something better with the evil team, but it was really no evil team. It was just an evil guy. And that's no fun. All right, avoid that guy. Whoa. I do hate the water solely because Pokemon just pop out out of nowhere. Is there an item over here that I desperately need? Nope. Dang it. I wasn't trying to get into a battle there. We already caught our encounter on this route. Yeah. Here we go. But. What was I going to say? I'm drawing a blank over here. Let me go ahead and heal up my team is what I should do. But, um, yeah, we're over here. We're getting ready. We're doing good. We're going to smack up this next gym pretty easily, I hope. We got a fighting type and a fairy type, so that should help us. Damn it, there we go. I forget where the potions and shit are. I don't need it. I need it! Man, old, old Spongebob is the best. I'm rewatching it right now on CBS, uh, on the CBS app. It is great. Damn it! I have half a mind to destroy this little prick. But I'm not going to. Now let's go fast. Gotta go fast. Ooh, we got the protector here. Oh my gosh. It's like a minefield of Pokemon. Like, just stop. I don't want. I don't want to fight nobody, man. Oh my gosh. I'm about to use a repel. I know it's not gonna make a difference, but Jesus Christ. Ooh, we got an ice stone. That's beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and use a repel here if we can find it. By type? No, by name. There we go. Let's see if it actually works. Nope, it doesn't. Thank you for the share. And thank you for the like. It really helps the channel grow and show support for the channel. Duh. Oh man, I'm talking to myself now. I'm going crazy. Alright, well there's nothing going on over here. Let's go ahead and try to avoid Pokemon this way and that way. We got some big pearls, we got little pearls, we got pearls of all kind. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to be away from this thing. I'm tired of wild Pokemon. And we keep getting away safely, which is good, so there's that. Oh my god. You know what, you fat prick? Boom! Die! There you go! Gone! Now let me, uh, proceed in peace. Ooh, black belt. Let's avoid that battle. Dude! Ugh, I wasn't trying to fight you. Here we go. We got a grab block here. And we're going to go ahead and take this thing out. Let's go ahead and go with the aerial ace. Ooh, 
Ooh, didn't quite take out the grab block, but did some pretty good damage. We should resist since we're bug type. And Hell's not going to take him out. So we got to go ahead and attack again with Horn Attack. Boom! That thing goes down. Well, that guy goes down. We're gonna go behind them to avoid. Come on. I ain't trying to fight nobody. Three die balls. There we go. We'll continue on this way. And uh, I guess we have to. But, as you can see, we can deal with the fighting types pretty well. Black Belt Reese. Nereese, you're in the game! Alright, here we go with the uh, aerial ace. Ooh, and the sock goes down. You frail, frail bastard. Level up goes up, and we're going to go ahead and switch out Horn Attack for Thrash, because, you know, more damage, why not? And eventually we'll give it a Lumberry to hold, because, you know, that, that does uh, cause confusion. Welcome to the stream, Linda Zamora, my lovely wife. Thank you for showing your support. And Thrill gets knocked down pretty well, but he lives it, so he gets to get off an attack. And we're going to go ahead and smack it back with an aerial ace. Only if this hell wasn't so annoying. Down goes Throw. Oh, and that was a critical hit we could have used 20 seconds ago. But we are gaining levels and gaining speed, and we're not going to learn Fire Spin. Because that's a whack move unless you're in the anime. So let's go ahead and go over here. Continue on and see what we can find in this corner. Oh, rare candy. I'll take it. And then there's a camping spot if you want to camp. And I think we've already been this way. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, it appears we've been this way. Oh, not over here though. Man, that lady can see for miles, I bet. So we're going to come this way. Oh, we dodged one. We don't need to fight no more people. And we are on Route 9, so we can capture a new Pokemon. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. You guys have gotten me so close to 100 followers, so I would like to thank y'all very much. But I still need your help to get me to my goal. We need 21 more followers to help P the Zamora Gaming channel grow. So if y'all can like, share, and comment, anything you feel like really, to get our ratings higher so more people start watching that'd be great and we caught the bergmite on the first try which is amazing so let's go ahead and move on to the next stop okay we got the scope lens which is amazing and there's nothing over there we need so we're gonna avoid that battle because we really don't need to battle anything else anymore our levels are right where they need to be for this gym challenge here and I just know we got to face smart face farce, face. Jesus, I can't talk. I know we got to face Marnie here before we enter the gym, though. So we got to be prepared for that. Let's go ahead and try to avoid these Pokemon here. Oh, no. And I couldn't avoid that Toxpex. Oh, Marini. It evolves into a Toxpex. 
Whew. Here we go. We're kind of going to fly by through this part here. Because Marnie is going to be pretty easy to beat. Let me just go ahead and make sure I'm all healed up and ready to go. Because if not, that could put us in a bit of a situation. Uh, get rid of the notification there. Heal up Dim, because Dim is what's going to really be pulling us through this gym. And Marnie wants to battle. And she has her hype squad in the back. And she's just like, fuck off. So let's go ahead and challenge Marnie here. First she sends out a Liper. Pretty cool. But we resist it. So let's go ahead and see what she's planning on doing here. Brick Break goes off. Nasty Plot goes up. And yeah, the Nasty Plot goes up, but all for not because it goes down to a Brick Break. Oh, also, Narice, um, if you happen to miss the other streams, I have posted all of them on to... Uh, YouTube as well so you can go ahead and catch up there if you feel like all right let's see she's sitting out a toxic rogue here so I'm gonna go ahead and go champ yeah it's gonna be an easy sweep but uh, toxic croak I don't have a super effective attack for it so I'm just gonna go ahead and give uh, Charizard a little bit of time to shine here the savior of our ice gym challenge. Taking on that Lapras. Yeah, they should be in order. Uh, I believe if you just click on the playlist, they, they pretty much just play one by one. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, let's go ahead and go back to gym. Give him more of a spotlight. He is a lower level than most Pokemon we have here. So that will help us out. Well, the EXP will help us out by gaining us a level, hopefully. Alright, the Brick Break is coming. And she torments us. So we cannot use the same move twice, I believe. But we don't need it! Brick Break goes off and down goes more Pico. And all of our Pokemon are level 46. We can't use Brick Break again. And we don't have a Bug type move yet. So we're going to go ahead and switch back out to Champ here. Bolsom's a little high level. So I don't want to, you know, make it too easy. As expected. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go for Nair Slash here and finish Marnie off. And let's get into this gym challenge. Oh no! Scrafty hangs on on, you know, quite a few. Enough. Gives off a mighty crunch, but... Oh my god, here we go. I was about to say, but it's not enough! So Air Slash is going to take it out, but... She hyper potioned. And it did about the same amount of damage. So we go ahead and finally get the Air Slash off on Scrafty again and finally knock it down. So now we can go heal up in the Pokemon Center and challenge this gym challenge. No, we're not going to learn. No, I said no. I don't want to. So Marnie is hurt, of course, because she lost. But no, we can do about that. We got to go ahead and continue on with our challenge here and beat this next gym so let's go ahead and put let's put Alice up at the front for now just cause it's been a while since we've seen Alice shake her booty on the screen and you'll see what I mean by that when we enter battle I'm not a furry but let's go ahead heal up here and then we can officially start the gym challenge 
Look at that mean team. It would have looked better with the rock though. Damn. Really didn't want that thing to go down. But let's go ahead and come this way. More cutscene, because well, it's Pokemon. Why not? She gives us Pierce's lead card. And we are good to go. We're changing into a uniform right in front of this fat dude. And I don't know where we put our backpack, but I guess we're going to trust these sketchy ass dudes. And they literally come in out of the alleyways trying to fight us. It's okay though. They sent out a line noon. And Alice is coming out here. Oh, I guess she doesn't shake her booty as much anymore. She's She used to dance around and everything. It's like, oh my gosh. What were you thinking, developers? But I guess they figured it out by the time they got to the Luxury. And they were like, yeah, no more. Play Rough goes off and Linoon goes down. Oh, well, that was easy. One Pokemon, one down. Next one to go. So let's go ahead and continue on over here and see what we have to battle next. Okay, well, Mr. Mime is over here blocking our path. And it's the Cantonian Mr. Mime, funny enough. I wonder where they got that thing from. Because they are not local to here. And a Thievil comes out. Alice comes out. And Play Rough should be enough to knock this thing out. We definitely get our Intimidate off, of course, which is really helping us uh, lower their attack stat. But, Foul Play is attacking based on our attack stat. And our attack stat is high, so it did quite a bit of damage. So, luckily, we didn't get knocked out there. But, Play Rough does the job and knocks out that thing. Alright guys, if you're hype and excited for this gym challenge to happen, if you haven't yet already, leave a like and press follow. Bari Bari. Alright, that's a weird thing. Oh, go. Okay. It's like that, um, this reminds me of that one game I played when I was younger. Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to remember this but me, but it was like a fighting game. And you would fight certain people, and then once you beat the like that section, it would say go go, and then oh my god, look at these freaking creepers! I'm yelling for no reason. Oh my god, I'm surprised they didn't break their fucking ankles. Oh, he said my legs hurt from that. But um, the game was uh, you beat up people and threw them into lockers and stuff. And then you'd move on, and then you move to the next section. Like, I think you start off like on the street, then you go to a park, then you go to a school. And you keep fighting, and then there's a boss in each level. And then eventually, I don't know what happens, because I never beat the game. <laughs> street of Rage? That might be it. I'll probably look it up later and assure you if that's the case. But that was a fun game. I enjoyed playing that game. Okay, so they are down and out. And I did mention before that they had a freaking bobby pin on their back, right? Oh, and look how nice of them to leave us a max revive that we can't use. Alright, whatever. Oh, no. Your HP ain't looking so good. Um, we're actually full health. Thank you very much. Oh, well. Team Yell Grunt Girls are coming out, and they're sending out their Weaviles here. An actual scary Mon for a change. She gives off the pressure, but we give off the imi I imitate. Stupid ass. Intimidate. And Play Rough should knock this thing out no problem. It is a glass cannon here. Metal Claw is resistant to us since we are electric types. So, bad move choice on her part. Play Rough pops off, connects, and she goes down. Oh, sirs, are you kidding me? Oh, 
Well, they are officially more athletic than me. I could not do a backflip to save my goddamn life. Unless I was on a trampoline. But it's been a while, so I don't know if I can still do it. But I was able to. Oh no, they trapped me in here. Where's my whistle? Look, he's not even wearing his gear. Pathetic. But it is a double battle. So this is going to be very interesting. But we do have Dim to back us up. Nah, mean homie. Alright, and Intimidate certainly helps us here. Um, what can we do? We're going to go ahead and go for the Play Rough into the Lipard. And we're going to go for the Brick Break into Drapion. It's going to be neutral. But, you know, it might come in handy here. And Lightbird officially goes down here, but not without a fight. She does slash on the Heracross. Thank you. So Alice gains a level here. And Drapion pulls off the Poison Fang right into Alice. Which would have been bad for... Oh no, never mind. Would have been fine. We're not Guts. I don't know why I was thinking I was. But we're going to go ahead and go for the neutral for sure hit. And go for a brick break as well. Oh, excuse me, I had to drink some water over there. But Drapion finally goes down. Takes a couple of hits. But we are fine here and everyone's leveling up and doing good. Whew. Ugh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next. But he's really strong. Got that. Okay. Go for it. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Shut your gob. Whoa, what the fuck? What do we walk into here? Oh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spikmuth telling me that they locked down the city for my sake. Spikmuth just keeps getting worse and worse. And all pills it says is don't worry. So I, so, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yellow and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Mrs. Mani could, would be able to be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. Okay, y'all are boring me. Anyways, she's allowing me to go through and battle her older brother, Pierce. What are we to do? Stop stealing my eggs. Oh, look, I, can, I didn't even realize this before. How about your obstacle for my Cantonian Mr. Mine? So, if y'all are doing y'all first playthrough and y'all want to do a trades challenge or whatever... There's actually a trade here in the gym. I had no idea. So that's an option. But we're going to go ahead and switch back. Um, you know what? We're going to switch Balsam up here. So Nerys, shout out to you for giving us this nickname for our Sylveon. And we are ready to fight Pierce, the fierce gym battler of Galar. He's rocking out. Rock out with your socks out, you know what I mean? Huh, <sighs> you're finally here, huh? See? I'm I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. Well, when I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but I still hope you enjoy your battle. Dang, everyone ran. And little baby Toxel. Those things are so cute. I want it. Now then. Let's rock! 
You want to challenge me even though you know you lose? Then this song's for you, Foolish Trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Muth, it's time to rock! Pierce has accepted the challenge of the gym leader. I mean, wait, what? Never mind. You are challenged by the gym leader, Pierce. Gym leader sends out Scrafty. And the challenger sits out a Sylveon. Bolsum is here to fight. Everyone cheer my Pokemon. Let's do it. All right. Bolsum's attack gets lowered due to Intimidate. Let's see what happens now. Fairy is super effective against Scrafty, so we'll just have to see what happens. But the flinch! Fake out was a great first turn move. What will Bolsum do here? Draining Kiss to get some of that health back, I'm sure. And it is enough to take down this Scrafty. So down goes Scrafty here. And... And Bolsum is doing great. Sorry, Norris, um, did I see the anniversary video? Uh, are you talking about the, the release? That little music video they did at the Pokemon Sword expansion? Alright, we got Malamar coming up here. And we fort we resist everything. No, 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 we don't. Ooh, that was a bad move. Alright, so Malamar comes in here. And he just shouts out that they have contrary ability. So we're going to go back to Bolsum here. I didn't think about it, but we are not resistant to its psychic moves. But yeah, I did see the anniversary video. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. And we're going to go ahead and go for a draining kiss here. Draining Kiss does an amazing amount of damage. We get health back. And it goes for another Psycho Cut. I really like how they did um, all the in-game characters too. That was pretty cool. And I really wish there was a whole game with the whole, with all the regions in it already. It's, it, it's long overdue. Alright, Obstagoon is coming out here. What will the gym trainer do? I mean, the gym challenger do? Oh, it looks like they stay in here. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of Obstagoon. All right, so he's obviously going to obstruct here. And we're going to go for baby doll eyes. It's attack fell. Here's the number I've saved just for this. You lot in the stands better cheer me on. Oh, and it goes for the throat chop. Well, if I was using hyper voice, that would have been bad. But we aren't. So, he goes with the throat chop again. Still negative one on the attack. And Balsam gets the dazzle gleam off. Not enough damage. So, we're just going to go for it again. And he is on the attack with these throat chops. I'll tell you this, if I get hit in the throat once, I'm pretty sure I'm going down. Give it up to Bolsum for taking three hits straight to the throat. Maybe that ribbon's giving her some protection, but that's still ridiculously bad. And we're going to get Moonblast here, so that's going to be an amazing thing. It's so anime right now. Alright, we got Skunk Tape coming out. What do we do here? We're going to go ahead and go Shelly here. Shelly has not seen the light of day for the longest time. So let's go ahead and give her, I was going to say, uh, a shot, uh, time in the sun, or whatever that thing's supposed to be. Time in the sun, time in the light, time in the spotlight, whatever. I don't know. I forgot something. 
Use your sucker punch and toxic. That's why you suck as a gym leader. You give out your whole goddamn... Uh, what do you call it? Strategy. So sucker punch comes off, but it's not going to do enough. Earth power, though. It's going to do a fine amount of damage. And we knock out the skunk tank. Alice learns Thunder Wave, and I'm going to get rid of Tackle only because Thunder Wave is going to really help us catch Pokemon. Just in case, you know, Quick Ball doesn't work. And we did the Gym Challenger. Joe Zamora has defeated Pierce, leader of whatever gym this is. Me and my team gave it a best. Let's meet up for the battle again sometime. And he gave us a shitload of money. Oh, yeah, one hit KO, baby. Got the job done. I'm glad we're able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. And the Gym Challenger comes in to gain the Dark Badge. <laughs> All right, so far so good, and everyone's crying in the stands. Is there going to be riots in the streets? No idea. But thank you for the dark uniform. My little sis really likes you. Don't get her pregnant. Jeez, Pierce, that's a little forward, don't you think? Did she say jizz or jeez? It's moving a little fast. I think I'm going to leave. All right. TM85 for Snarl. Uh-oh. What's going on out there? Damn. The word travels fast that I kicked his ass. Hey, we heard you beat the, the gym leader. Uh, why don't you come help us? Oh, and look. The champion's here. Joe, thanks for coming. But I've hand I've got a handle on this. Whatever makes that noise, I'll see it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your goal on keep your eye on the goal. And for that, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym left is uh Ryan. So go do that instead of enjoying some awesome story, because I will take care of it. It's like, yeah, that's cool. The champion's really involved and he's saving the world and all that shit, but you know. It sucks, because that's all that story we missed out on. Like, I would have liked to actually defeat a Dynamax Pokemon over there. and Pierce sucks. He lost. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I would have liked to go over there and beat the Pokemon myself. You know, had a little real story going instead of, oh, keep your eye on the fucking ball and just go for it. Like, no, dude. It's lame. It's whack. That's wiggity wiggity wag, G. I've actually never been back past here after I beat the gym. So this is pretty interesting to see. So you're still able to get gym. I mean, that trade. And there's no going back there. But we can go upstage. I love you. I'm sending cheers to you. Well, what's this? Dude, I didn't know choice specs were over here. I need to go there in my main game and figure that out. <clears throat> but yes, Nuris, Ryan is next. And he's going to be a pain in the ass to beat. Out of the team you made in each Pokemon game, which is your favorite? Mm, that's tough because I, I don't really... I don't know. I certainly like my fire team. But. I don't know. It's kind of hard to get all my favorites on one team. Because they're all kind of, you know, similarly weak to something the other one is. Like my top three favorites are Charizard, Lycanroc, and Nidoking. So that means like a Garchomp with Earthquake and Stone Edge can knock my Pokemon out pretty well if, you know, given the right circumstance. 
Oh, I thought you meant like my favorite whole team. But yeah, Charizard definitely. Charizard is my boy. Charizard is my favorite. Always has been. Always will be. And no one will ever change my mind on that. It's tattooed on my left arm for Pete's sake. And honestly, I wish Charmillion could have got, you know, a better... How do you... What do you say? Um... Hmm. I can't be specific, I guess. It should have got more shine. Oh, story teams? Um, I've never... Let's see. I had an X and Y team that I did a Nuzlocke on. And that one was pretty good. I had... Oh my gosh, what happened? Sorry, I thought I had a big issue right there. But, um... My X and Y team, I had a pretty good team. It was a uh, Charizard, of course. It was a regular Nuzlocke, so I kind of chose that as a starter. I had Chespin. I eventually lost it, I think. I know I, uh, and I caught a full odds shiny Esper. And I evolved it, and it was the female one, so it didn't have Prankster, but it was still really cool. And then I also had... I'm trying to remember, because it was such a long time ago. But that was like the first time I beat X and Y in Nuzlocke. And it was just like, this is fucking awesome. And it was probably the best team I could have constructed too, because it was a really good team. But, yeah, that's probably my best team. I think I had a Dedenne, too. So, I guess that would be my best team. Or my favorite team that I got to play with. And Sylveon is just putting in the goddamn work here. I guess I could have battled this guy a lot sooner, but must have not been thinking. Nasty plot. Okay. Calm your tits, buddy. Shadow Ball pops off. And down goes the nasty pulty guys. Ugh. Remake that T because it was nasty. Alright, Kaden, your team officially goes down. And I never want to see that shit happen in front of my face again. Whew, so we need Pokemon to, you know... What do you call it? To get ready for this next gym. We should be at the right levels already. Chlorophyll Sprout is going to certainly come in handy. Storm Drain comes in handy. Okay, so Storm Drain. Damn it, that's what I was trying to do. There we go. Storm Drain and Chlorophyll are certainly going to help since they have a few, uh. They have a few battles where it's weather based before you beat the. before you fight the actual gym leader. So, it's going to be interesting to see. I always try to catch a Heliolisk, but I never got lucky enough to use it in a Nuzlocke. In that game. And my first playthrough, I honestly couldn't tell you. It was pro I probably used... I I'm sure I used Chespin, though. Because it was one of my favorites. Of the starters there. And then I started using. Uh, I used Froakie a lot too. So it might have been that one. But I certainly really didn't use uh, Finnegan. I didn't really care for the evolution line. So 
I certainly didn't go that route very often. I think I did it once, and I was just like, no, not for me, Doug. And I really didn't care for Age of Slash when, when it first came out either. It was more once I actually started playing more competitive is whenever I started seeing the usage of uh, Age of Slash more. Hey Kevin, welcome to the stream. Please leave a like, uh, follow if you haven't, and share if you can. So all of our friends can watch. Alrighty there. They took off and they leave me to fight the evil dragon king. <sighs> Alright guys. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but... This is going to be the end of the stream for now. I will stream again sometime this week. Or this weekend, I should say. But um, I really appreciate y'all taking us time out of y'all's day to come hang out with me for a little while and watch. Please leave a like again. Uh, follow if you haven't. Help me get to my goal of 100 followers to make this channel start booming even more and um, share if you can so your friends can join in on the fun I really enjoy doing this so the more y'all help me the more I can uh, give y'all content so lastly but surely leave a like leave a follow share go to my youtube channel and subscribe so you can watch anything you miss <clears throat> and I really appreciate all y'all for taking time out of y'all day and watching and me play and talking with me. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. And Reese, I will certainly be ready for those weather teams. <laughs>